Hello YouTube and welcome to TT2023. It's Monday 29th of May. The roads are closed. Racing is about to go on the way. Well, the first practice qualifying sessions. As usual, I don't have much of a plan what I'm going to do. Um, I will basically try and catch general impressions of TT. Now, if you are looking for any chance to do live streaming of the racing, I'm not your guy. I don't really do that. There are others who do that. And of course, there's TT Plus, which I do think people should support because it sustains the TT. And it's pretty good value for 20 quid you get a better experience than any youtube streamer can ever give you so if you're after live streaming try those things or other channels not me but i will try and give you some behind the scenes views this year i want to focus more on all the fans and you know the riders and everything behind the scenes because you can see the racing elsewhere so that's what i'm going to do i'm just going to wander around mostly just point the camera at things try not to put any music on this time or any fancy editing might have a bit of commentary here and there but other than that i'll just give you an impression of what it's like to be here i'm always open to ideas so if you want me to film something or change something or if you like the style or not please let me know in the comments if i don't know what you want or like then i can't you know do it but i'm happy to try and you know feature things that you want to see if you can't make it here so that's it let's uh wait for the racing it's delayed of course as it always is so or very often is on the first day until everything gets into place so yeah here's some impressions from day one of tt 2023 enjoy and thank you for watching all right i'm all parked up that's the big car park at nobles park behind the grandstand which is actually free believe it or not you get something free here isn't that nice so let's go for a walk around the paddock if you're really posh, that's where you go. If your ticket costs a thousand pounds. Seem to be selling well, those VIP things. So from the fan zone, this is the entrance to uh, the paddock. Let's have another look around. Not quite as long as yesterday, just some short snippets from the different teams.
Okay, so you can take the brolly and the warmer. Yeah. It's on. Yes, Indy, first yeah. day of TT 2023. How do you feel? Yeah, I feel really good, you know, get a good sleep. We are going to go with the Aprilia out today because we are testing the fuel tank if it's going to last, you know, right. hold the fuel. So it's going to be a big, big question. You might you run know. out, you think? Or? Yeah, we mm -hmm. have a standard fuel tank, so... How many liters? Uh, it's about 15 only, so... That's we tight. Hope, yeah, it's quite tight, <laughs> you know, and you don't want to be, you know, Finishing, you know, on the signpost corner. <laughs> and push her in there. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, we have some options to maybe get some bigger fuel tank from England. So hopefully, fingers crossed. Cool. We have to also do the gearing if it's right, because we never rode the Aprilia around here. So it will be quite a test day for us, you know. Cool. So for both yeah. sessions, we trying to take just the Aprilia today. And okay. then tomorrow we're going to take this fuel day as well. So. We'll see, you know, fingers crossed. I'm a good spirit and the team is working well, so cool. we, we are, you know, prepared. Sounds great. Well, best of luck. Have yeah. fun out there. Thanks. I see you later. Do. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Right, now it's time to take a wonder. We have, what, 16, 18 minutes left until road's closure. So I'm going to St. Ninians to show you the magic moment, how the roads are being closed for the first time in 2023 for the TT. And as I'm sure you know, once the roads are closed, it's a racetrack, you're not supposed to go on it. Watch my other TT guide to learn about that. So let's go St. Ninians, check the roads closure, and then go back and see what I catch here. It is 9.49 a.m. on Monday. As you can see, it's still a public road right now. So let's walk down to St. Ninians. Because in 10 minutes, it will not be a public road anymore. And I want to show you the road closure ceremony. It's not a ceremony, they just put barriers up. but. I just want to show you what it looks like the first time this year. So once the roads are closed, really nobody is allowed on this road, not on the pavement, not crossing, not nothing. So there's the stairs I always put in over the wall. There's St. Ninians. Let's go there. If you are watching from St. Ninians, don't forget to go into the church. I mean, check that out for prices at a major motorsport event, huh? So yeah, don't forget to go to the church, grab a tea, slice a cake, support them. While you watch the races here, they're lovely people. There's St. Ninian's Crossing, that's the top of Bray Hill. And there's the footbridge. I'll stick the video how it was put up in the comments here somewhere. That bridge is temporary, that gets taken down again after, I think after Bank's computer leave it up for. 
great viewing spot, this one. And then you can cross over. You're not allowed to stand on the bridge. They will shout at you if you do that. But you can cross the bridge and then you can stand at the petrol station. That's a great spot. You can watch them come down. And of course, if you watch my other video about advanced spectating, you'll know you can walk down the back roads and go to Botmore Bray Hill, which is probably what I might do for the first practice. I don't know yet. There's the magic moment, 10 a.m. The road is closed, he has to turn around. The barriers are going up. And now this is a racetrack. So the roads are now closed. What happens now? Uh, then the first lap is not until 10.40, so they have about 40 minutes. As you can see, the marshals are doing an inspection for debris and the dirt and you know, anything that could be a danger to participants. Of course, if you do hit something like a drinks can or some rubbish when you do these speeds, that's dangerous. In the distance, you can see the LED flags working, those flashy things there. That's a new system, they put that in recently so they can signal the riders more easily. There will also be traveling marshals going around, I'm sure you've seen them. They are all ex-riders, they're all very experienced, they check that everything's in place. There will be course inspection cars going around with officials to make sure that everything is in place. What happens often is that they sometimes move marshals around. There have to be a certain number of marshals in certain positions. So you can see he's checking the track. So yeah, sometimes, especially over the mountain, they tend to move marshals around. So sometimes you get an announcement, there's a delay while we move marshals around. And then once everything is set, the first bike, so it's a newcomer speed control lap at 10.40, so another 30 minutes from now. It's very quiet. If you know the TT and you know the spot and just along Grand Cutchery Road, you know how quiet this is, but I'm sure this will change during the week. That's the charges for the little grandstand by the return lane. This is the return lane. Actually, pretty good view. Remember what I just said about marshals? It's exactly, it happens all the time, it's quite normal. As 
we're a little delayed. I'm walking back to Lot St. Ninians and I'll catch the first bikes there. I think it's a better view. But yeah, delays. The one thing you get really good at with TT is waiting and be paying, being patient because delays are just an inevitable truth with an event this complex. Obligatory pluck for the marshals. If you are coming here to watch or visit, consider joining them without marshals and no racing. Michael Rutter's got the biggest truck in the paddock. It is very shiny. That's the new merchandise shop that wasn't here last year. They have a new merch contract this year, as I think I mentioned a couple of times, and prices have gone up massively. I meant to do a separate video on that actually, because I think it's the government's fault, but then isn't it always? So this is the entrance to the fan zone, and I'm now going to St. Ninians and catch the first bikes there. Thank you. 
So, as the last bikes just went down Bray Hill for the first session, or the first the group, Super Twins, um, I'm heading home. I need to recharge, do some work. So that's it from me from up here. Also, I want to upload this really quickly, so I won't be up here for qualifying later, but I will try and maybe go up on the mountain. Like I said, I want to do more sort of behind the scenes and maybe feature the fans more and stuff like that. If you want to watch race footage, sign up for TT+. Plus. It's your better bet. Uh, if you want to see some random behind the scenes stuff, follow me. And that's it from here for now. If you have any comments, requests, stick them in the comments and I'll try and cater them, cater for them in the next two weeks. I'll be out and about when I find time. So see you soon. Thanks for watching.